What is going on guys? In this video, I'm actually gonna run through how I stay happy and motivated on a regular basis. So let's hop into the video. So before we even start the video and I tell you how I stay motivated on a regular basis, let's just run through how my day went all together. So I will show you a clip of that and then we'll hop back into it. So let's get it. We tired. Oh. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So, tip number one. The first thing I do every single morning, I have a routine that I go through and I follow strictly every single day. My routine isn't strict to the point where I have to eat this, I have to eat that, back to back. No, I have some freedom. And what I mean is, I try to wake up every day at around 4.30 to 5, so I have that window for opportunity to tell myself to get up. Once I've done that, I've accomplished the first goal of my day. And nothing makes you feel more happy and more accomplished than accomplishing goals. And well, you just saw a video of me eating breakfast, and it was like 4.30 or it was like 4 something in the morning. This is my next tip that I have for you guys, and this is a more so serious tip. Cut out people who don't make you feel comfortable. Cut out the negativity out of your life. You do not need it. And let me tell you what I mean by this. If you are going to school every single day and you have have friends who make you feel bad about yourself, friends who you don't really feel comfortable around, and deep down inside, you know they're not the friends for you. Cut them off. It may seem hard at first, being able to push away from a friend group that you usually hang out with on a daily basis, but if they're not benefiting you in any way or form, helping you uplift yourself, making you more happy, encouraging you to do better, they are not the friends for you. And I'm telling you, once you cut them off, you're gonna feel way happier. You may go through a few stages of regret, feeling like, oh, they were my friends, I stopped talking to them. But in the long run, it's gonna benefit you and nobody else. Find a group of friends who make you feel better about yourself. Find a group of friends who are like-minded just like you. Because that's the only way you're really gonna be happy and really motivated to go to school or do whatever it is you have to do every single day. Find the right group of friends. Next tip, write five things down and tell yourself those five things every single day. You need to find ways to uplift yourself because nobody is gonna uplift you for you. So find ways to help yourself before you let anybody else help you. Uh, growing up, I hated reading. I found no point in it. I'm like, why should I read a book that holds no significance to me and the reason why I thought like that because whenever I thought of books I thought of novels I thought of true stories I thought of things that were uninteresting and honestly I discovered books like this success principles I don't know the genre for these but books that make you feel better about yourself so this one is called the success principles and it has a whole bunch of things that tell you how to go about living your daily life and honestly the things that were the facts that say in the book are true like let me give you an example right here I'm gonna flip to a random page boom <clears throat> Discovering and honoring their life purpose is perhaps the most important action successful people. Okay, that makes no sense in this video. But anyways, a really big tip that I have for you guys is just to make sure that you find a reason to be doing what it is you're doing every single day. And I know it's kind of really hard and outgoing when I say find a reason or find a reason to do what it is that you do, but you really do have to take the time and figure out what you want out of life. Because if you're sitting down doing the same thing every single day, that's boring. You're not gonna be happy. If you're working towards something, you're gonna be way happier because you have a goal and an end goal in mind. And the thing with successful and happy people, is they set goals every single day, every single year, every single month. Setting goals is the foundation of building happiness and just building a better mindset. So set your goals, do your thing, and you're going to be happy. You're going to be smiling every single day. You're going to be a happy person. My last tip for you, enjoy the bad moments. They happen. But with bad moments, it's going to show you that there's going to be good days afterwards. And if you can find out or figure out that there's good days afterwards, your mindset is basically going to be uplifted. You're going to be like, okay, I'm in a bad situation right now. But a few days later or a few days after, I know I'm gonna be in a better situation. And the first step to doing anything is believing that you can. The first step to change, the first step of changing your mindset or your life in general is believing that something is gonna happen. So say for instance, a bad thing happened today. You did bad on a test. 
Okay, you did bad on the test. That was a bad situation, but if you believe you're gonna do better on the next test and that future event does come around and you've been feeding yourself the image that you're gonna do better on the test, the likeliness is you're gonna do better on the test because you started feeding yourself positive connotation, that positive effect. And when you feed yourself positive effects, guess what? Positive results do come. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been how to be overall more happy, how to be more positive, how to be more motivated. And well, you know what? If you didn't like the video, make sure you like that. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because it does help me out. And I'll see you guys next time. I know that you like it like that. Like it like that. I wait designer, check the name on the tag. White Fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me, that's a